Orson Scuba Divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine, your favourite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Today we're going scuba diving in the Maldives. Now, I know that I've done a couple of videos on the conditions about going scuba diving in the Maldives with the best times of years ago and stuff like that. In this video, I'm going to focus more on the liverboard itineraries with master liverboards what you can expect to see, what skill level is expected on each itinerary, and what equipment you should bring with you. The northern atolls includes this area of the Maldives. So this 10 night trip is one of the most diverse itineraries in the Maldives with a mixture of gentle coral gardens, current driven passes, standalone pinnacles and some pristine barely dived sites. There's something for everybody to see here. The northern atolls includes northern Mali, Ra, Bar, Shaviani, Ha Dalu and Ha Alifu. Dalu and Alifu are the northernmost and like very much the, the outskirts, as it were, which means that they're a lot quieter and they're a bit less developed for tourism, so they're a bit more natural. This means that divers can explore pristine and less crowded dive sites. Shaviyani is more about the marine life, colorful coral reefs, Thelas, uh, which are submerged pinnacles that don't quite reach the surface, and channel diving as well. Shiviani attracts a diverse array of marine life from small critters to larger pelagic species, so you can see a full range. Ra and Ba are known for their diverse marine life, colourful coral reefs and a variety of reef fish. You can expect to see different types of angelfish, butterfly fish and the occasional reef shark. Current driven channels offer exciting diving and possible pelagic encounters for those with experience in similar conditions. Ba is actually a UNESCO biosphere reserve for studying social and ecological changes in the area and how they can affect marine life in the area. Suitable for entry level divers and above, Northern Atolls is a fantastic mix to see lots of marine life but do expect a bit of current but to sign up for it all you need is paddy open water or equivalent and 30 logged dives Central Atolls covers this area of the Maldives and the diving there is suitable for entry levels again uh, but you do need those 30 logged dives that's common amongst a lot of liverboards, especially on the more basic itineraries, uh, just to make sure that you have enough experience because the diving can be quite fast paced at some times, especially if there's current in the water, you need to make sure that everyone's confident to just go for that dive. But the central atolls, they are famous for shark and ray sightings, and you may see some turtles as well, which is always cool. Uh, you'll be diving around the Malé Atolls. Malé is the capital of the Maldives, and there can be plenty of drift diving. Ari Atolls are known for their vibrant coral reefs, abundant marine life, and impressive drop-offs. You can expect to encounter a wide variety of marine species, including colorful reef fish, some sharks, manta rays, and even the elusive whale shark, if you're lucky enough. Rastu, uh, diverse marine life again, stone and coral formations are the order of the day, uh, a huge variety of fish species including those reef sharks, mantas again and probably some eagle rays and you can also visit Varvu Atoll, notorious for quite strong currents which attract big pelagic species and create thrilling drift dives. Divers can expect plenty of encounters with reef sharks here and for the lucky ones even some hammerheads and some whale sharks. But it's best if you're a bit more comfortable with stronger current entries and exits. Similar to the previous itinerary, as you can imagine by the name, uh, you're going to be diving most of the same dive sites, but you'll also be visiting Bar and Ra, um, the UNESCO biosphere that I spoke about earlier. Uh, Bar is known for its rich biodiversity. It features stunning coral reefs, but it's more famous for Hanifaru Bay, where at certain times of the year, manta rays congregate in really large numbers. So if you're going for manta rays, then yeah, look up the best time of year to go and sign up for that trip. Around Ra, 
Divers can encounter a diverse range of marine life, including reef sharks, eagle rays, and schools of pelagic fish. Current-driven channels offer exciting diving for those with experience in similar conditions. Uh, still more entry-level kind of itinerary here with a 30 logged dive minimum. In central and southern atolls, we start to step things up a little bit. Uh, you need to be advanced open water. You need to have 50 log dives and experience in currents to sign up for this itinerary, but it is worth it. Huvadu Atoll features a circular expanse with a deep central lagoon enclosed by reefs and coral islets. Its 40 reef segments create a diverse diving environment, teeming with marine life and vibrant corals, affording exciting encounters and exhilarating drift dives. Often described as fish soup, Fushi's Kandu is one of the most popular dive sites in the region, relatively shallow at a depth of just 12 to 15 meters. The channel stretches almost 250 meters and is frequented by numerous sharks and other pelagics to excite and delight divers as they drift along with the current. On the south side of Thar Atoll, uh, large numbers of schooling fish draw reef sharks and tuna from the blue beyond along the walls and channel openings on the hunt for an easy meal. Eagle rays can often be seen foraging for crustaceans amongst the sand and the corals uh, or scooping up discarded fish morsels. Uh, the north East is peppered with submerged pinnacles covered predominantly in softer corals, whilst the west will see you surrounded by jacks and snappers. Keep an eye out for sharks and rays along the wall at about 30 meters. They like to come and visit and coming up from the colder waters. Far south is again a bit more advanced. You do need your advanced open water or equivalent, 50 log dives again and experience in currents, but you will be visiting Huvadu, uh, which is the world's second largest atoll. I spoke about that a little bit earlier. Marine life, vibrant corals again, uh, offering exceptional manta ray encounters and exciting drift dives. Situated within the equatorial channel between Huvadu and Adu, Fuva Mula Atoll stands as a unique diving destination and is best known for frequent sightings of tiger sharks and silver tips, setting it apart from other dive sites in the Maldives. So if you want to see them, you need to visit that dive site. Adu Atoll, uh, known for year-round manta ray sightings, it's a good place if you like mantas, uh, is also home to various sharks, turtles, and abundant marine life. Divers can explore the renowned World War II tanker, the British loyalty, the Maldives' largest shipwreck, so that you can tick that off your wreck dive, uh, you can tick that off your dive trip. You typically get seven or ten night trips for most of these itineraries, and they can never promise that you'll dive each and every one of those dive sites because weather conditions and the capabilities of the divers that you're on the trip with um, can vary. Uh, they can prohibit some dive sites, so you can never really promise anything, um, but they will try and aim to get you to all of them. Uh, you'll still get to go diving, obviously, but there's a chance that you might not visit some of those dive sites. You'll go somewhere else. You should get about three dives a day uh, whilst you're on board. Uh, you don't need to do them all, obviously, if you get tired, but a liverboard is a real great way to crank up your log dives. On a seven night trip, you're talking around 15, 16, 17 dives um, or more if you're lucky. Uh, on a 10 night trip, you're expecting something more like 20, 25 if you jump on every single dive. Days on board Blue Voyager start with a light breakfast before your first dive and then you actually get a second breakfast, so it's very Hobbit accessible. Uh, dive two and then you get your lunch, then dive three. It's Dive three is either going to be in the afternoon after lunch or after dinner as like a, a sunset or night dive depending on where you are. What's included? Uh, transfers from the local airport to your liverboard and of course back at the end of the trip. Uh, those three meals a day uh, on board, they're all included. Uh, tea, coffee and drinking water, all the standard. It's best if you bring a water bottle um, just so that you can refill it and you're not going through um, just plastic bottles. For diving, you get a standard 12 litre or like a, what is it, an Alley 80 um, and air fills for each dive. You get a weight belt, you get lead weight and an SMB, which is quite nice. Uh, 
SMBs are quite nice to, uh, to have a, an extra one, but do bring your own. There are additional charges for Nitrox, if you want to go diving Nitrox, uh, for Wi-Fi, if you really do need to be connected, but it, you might not have signal at all times. Uh, soft drinks and alcoholic drinks, they're an extra charge, uh, as well as any other equipment rentals that you're not bringing with you. All divers are required to have their own dive computer, so if you forget yours, uh, then you're going to need to rent one. So do make sure that you bring yours and check the battery is good for the entire week. A dive torch is quite handy to bring also if you plan on going on any sunset or night dives. And even just like in your pocket, it's quite nice to, uh, to have a, a small torch just to poke and, uh, and have a look in any shady areas and a reef hook is a great idea. Uh, with all of that current, it, you just hook into place uh, so you're not getting drifted away. Otherwise, bring all of the basics, your regulators, your BCD, mask and fins and whatnot. Wetsuit, it's kind of up to you uh, and the time of year that you're going. Some divers are happy just in like rash vest and board shorts. Others need a five mil, but water temperature is usually in the high 20s. So kind of make your decision based on previous experience and uh, recommendations. Four decks on Voyager, uh, as with most liverboards, most of the cabins are in the lower deck. Mid deck is your dining room, and then outside of that is the dive deck at the back of the boat. There are a handful, I think three rooms at the, um, at the front on the mid deck, and two further cabins on the upper deck in front of the saloon, and an outside space to relax in the fresh air. And then if you go all the way up to the top, uh, there's another lounge area that's partially covered that gives you full 360 views of the Maldives. For more information and how to book your next trip, head over to masterliverboards.com. Uh, Master runs dive trips all over the globe, so it's worth checking out their entire roster. Uh, in some places, they run multiple vessels and multiple itineraries, uh, so you don't have to run the same dive trip twice. And remember to check out our website, scubadivermag.com. Consider a magazine subscription, and if you don't have plans for the 2nd and 3rd of March this year, you can come and visit the Go Diving Show at the NAEC in Coventry. I'll be there recording. Uh, tickets are available now on the website. I'll pop links down in the description and whatnot. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.